Hello guys, this is Andy from Monkey Visuals and in this quick tutorial I'm just gonna show you a quick way how you can create uh, like a simple screen um, but my, my goal here is like to explain basic of the material and the material instances so okay the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna just drag a plane from my browser okay I'm gonna lo lock the scale I'm gonna set it to 1.80 to 180 just to like the resolution then I'm gonna look back again I had this 169 plane I'm gonna create a material now I'm gonna add in a name this is basically the base material I'm gonna open it okay let's double click on that okay so the first thing let's add a texture to our material by just looking for a texture sample parameter 2d we got it there so let's set a name so this is a dynamic parameter that will be able to change so this will be the screen content let's take the rgb output and let's put it in base color and a massive color okay this is screen material we can just set it to lit you know to default lit or only if you don't want the reflection and none of that so that will be easier to handle but in this case i'm gonna leave it leave it as default lit okay now let's add this color parameter basically this will be the roughness because i want to have some reflection there let's set the default value to 0 0.1 place that in roughness uh, okay there we go let's just uh, okay let's save it will apply at the same time so we just need to click save so basically i got the material but i'm going to right click and create material instance i'm going to name it the, what i'm going to do is the, the instance what does is it creates uh, like a dynamic version of the material that we can just tweak it, you know, without the need of recompile the material. So I'm going to pick the texture, I'm going to place it there. And as you see now, I got the material on my screen. So and also I have the roughness parameter that I can also, you know, decrease to increase the reflection or increase to decrease the reflection. Okay, good. So I got the screen now, I'm gonna go to the media player. I just created those media player. You should have how to create them. And they, they by default create a texture. I'm gonna place that texture there. And as, you, and as you see now, I just got my texture there from my media player. Same, just, I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna open another another video. So you can see, let me open the screen. There you go. So now you can see the content that is playing back is going to be the texture. So back in, the, in my material, let's add a texture coordinate. I just hit T, that's why, I'm sorry, I just hit U, that's why I just, it just appears. So I hit M for multiply node, and also A for add node. So I'm going to make it flow to, which is X and Y, add, and let's add scalar parameter with S. There you go, let's add X offset as name which will be like the movement in X and Y offset, the movement in Y. Okay, let's plug there. Now let's, our UVs, we're gonna add this offset. And now we're going to multiply. All right, let's move there and duplicate the multiply M for multiply. And we plug it into UVs. So now let's create it with S color, which will be the zoom. Let's set it to one because we're gonna multiply this by one, which will be like the same value. There won't be any change. But then we're gonna multiply by X stretch. Let's like you know to just increase the size in X and also increase the size in Y. I'm gonna duplicate this by just clicking Control W. There you go. And now make sure that the value is one, okay? In the multiply stuff, but the add should be zero. There we go, now let's save all. And when we open the material, we got new parameters that we can start playing with them. You now to, you know, let's crop this zoom grid and just focus on what we want. Like we can separate this. It's like we can separate the, we can separate them. As you see, there's, there's, there, it's in the same media player so i just created another plane i look for the material instance i duplicate it by control w and then place that in the new i created i open the new instance and now if you you can tweak the parameters you, you see it'll be sharing the the media player texture but now with new uv so i just created this simple add-on blueprint called simple simple screen is it's available in the store if you're interested in getting it just check the link that i put there 
and it's just it has like 10 10 you know 10 screen meshes that you can use for your virtual production but it has this parameter that the parameters there so you don't have to create materials and not the stuff and on the meta player it will it will do it for you automatically so this is how we go so if you're interested check it, the the link in the description so this is all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it and <laughs> take care